Hello and welcome back to the channel, my fellow Total Warriors. Today we have Constantine, Rise of Christianity. Constantine is a Rome 2 mod that always seems to slide under the radar whenever mod recommendations are flying around. The big hitters like Radius and especially Divideyet and Para get all of the love. And not without good reason either, those are massive overhaul mods. That being said, Constantine is a hefty DLC sized mod that deserves a spotlight. And that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. So, if that sounds good to you, then a like on the video would really help the channel out. Before we begin, my question to you folks is this. What mod do you think doesn't get the recognition that it deserves? Let me know down in the comments, and if I end up covering it here on the channel, I'll be sure to give you a shout out. As you can probably guess from the title, the mod takes place during the life of Emperor Constantine and features Christianity as the official state religion for the faction that he leads. There are a decent number of factions on offer here, but the stars of the show are definitely the various Roman claimants. I initially played as the Garamantians to try to chip away at the inevitable Roman civil war from the sidelines, but I had to abandon that campaign as they are severely handicapped and can't train any units other than tier 1 levies, a skirmisher cav, and a chariot unit. Once you start a campaign as the Romans though, you can quickly see the appeal that this unique setting brings to the table. Much like an empire divided, you begin on the verge of war with your fellow Romans, which in my Maxentius campaign happened almost immediately. There are also familiar barbarian faces here, like the Lombards, the Franks, and the Goths, ready to invade you from the north. And even the Huns are present in the Far East. The mod uses the banditry and plague system from Empire Divided, which makes the campaign feel sort of like a more forgiving version of Total War Attila. Religious cults are also present, although not without some accompanying bugs. Overall, if you're interested in this time period, or if you're just interested in another cool setup for a Roman Civil War, then you'll definitely find something to enjoy with this campaign. The spiciness of potentially wiping out Christianity in the Roman Empire makes both Jupiter and Emperor Diocletian hot and bothered. The mod comes with a custom main menu background as well as custom loading screens. The units available for recruitment are beautifully created late Roman era troop types. The unit design in the mod overall is top notch and I actually prefer the look of the units in this mod to those in Empire Divided. Not just the Roman units either, the Sassanid and Barbarian units look great as well. The units of course have custom unit cards although the art style does clash with the vanilla cards that are also present in the campaign. This didn't bother me or take away from the experience, however. Campaign difficulty is a step up from vanilla, it's a bit more difficult, with the aforementioned banditry and plagues present as well as public order generally being more difficult to maintain. Unit sizes are twice as large as they are in vanilla, meaning on huge unit scale, infantry have a whopping 320 men per unit. Don't recommend playing with that because naval invasions are an absolute nightmare. Playing on medium unit scale matches vanilla identically, which is what I used. Battle pacing is slow. Even with the faster battle submod, units move slower and the time to kill is a lot higher than it is in vanilla. This slower pace is intentional, and it's a positive for some, but it's definitely a negative for me. I ended up editing the faster battle submod, which got me closer to where I wanted to be. I mean, it basically alleviated the problem, if I'm being honest. If you like DEI's battles, you're going to feel right at home here. Constantine Rise of Christianity has a lot to offer, especially if you're interested in the time period, you don't own Empire Divided, or you've never played Attila. The mod authors have a lot to be proud of. They portray the setting brilliantly, and the units are an absolute joy to watch. The mod's massive, slow-paced battles and tougher campaign are different enough from vanilla to remind you that it's a mod, but it's also close enough to vanilla that you don't need to learn any new systems, it's just more Rome too. We truly are spoiled as mod users to have such high-quality DLC-sized mods like this available. So if you're in the mood for killing some Romans, as Romans, then you can find the link to the mod in the description down below. Be sure to leave endorsements on the mod page for the mod authors to show your appreciation. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. You're a Chad. Subscribe to the channel for more Total War content just like this. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next video.